Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I recently picked up from Coastal Scents. So Coastal Scents had their Cyber Monday haul which made the whole site 50% off which is great. I've never ordered from Coastal Scents before. This was my first time making a Coastal Scents order. Um, I do own a couple Coastal Scents things but I have never ordered from their website. Um, the stuff I do own from them came from like subscription boxes like Ipsy or BoxyCharm and I, so I know I like their products I've just never made an order from them because I was waiting for a good sale and a good sale finally came. So the first thing I got was the Bionic Flat Top Buffer. I have been dying to get a hold of this brush because everybody says this is their holy grail foundation brush and I use these flat top buffer brushes for my foundation I don't use anything other than these types of brushes so I was it was the first thing in my cart so the next thing I got was the 16 piece pearl brush set um, I have seen a couple of girls talk about this on YouTube and I told myself I didn't need it I didn't need any more brushes but I got it. <laughs> so it comes in this nice sturdy container to keep it in. And here are some brushes. So there's a great mixture of face and eye brushes. The only thing though, I haven't washed these yet because I was waiting to do this video. But they stink. I have never smelled a brush that smelled this bad. It smells kind of like, I don't know, like a plastic artificial smell. I've never had a brush you know, that I've ordered before that would smell so bad, but these brushes are so soft, like, oh my gosh, like, you wouldn't even believe that they're synthetic, but they feel so soft. I have a couple, well, all of my brushes are synthetic, but I have some that are very scratchy and itchy and will, like, um, feel like it's tearing my face off when I use it, but these are just so soft, like, they are well worth it. I believe the original price of this was 50 something dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I got this for only $24.98, which is a great deal for 16 brushes. I think I'm going to do a separate video entirely of these with my review and everything once I've actually tried them out. And I'll probably do like a demo of a full face using nothing but these brushes. So the next thing I got was 19 of their Hot Pots. It came in this cute little blue bag like I could it's totally reusable it's not one of those bags that you buy products in and like you throw away it's actually a really cute bag now I know for sure I'm going to be doing a separate video of these entirely swatching them all so each of the hot pots come in this little plasticky container that you open up this way and then there's your little eyeshadow pan in there and they all come with the name on the back this one happens to be maroon berry but they all come individually packaged like this, so you can put them in a palette of your choice. Speaking of which, I did buy one of their custom palettes. This is the 28 Clear Lid Custom Palette. Um, uh, like I said, I only bought 19 of the Hot Pot, so that means I'll still have Ruben here for my next order when I make one, whenever that will be. But, um... Yeah, I'm so excited because I've seen so many people talk about these hot pots and I finally made the order and I finally got me some to make my own little custom palette. So the last and probably the least entertaining is that I got a chapstick. Yeah, I j it was only like, what, 48 cents? I just threw it in my cart because I actually don't have that many chapsticks. I thought I owned more than what I have, but I actually don't. And these one actually have really good ingredients in them too. There's nothing icky in them, so that's a plus. All right, guys, that's what all I got in my latest Coastal Scents haul. Thank you so much for watching, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and until next time, bye.